Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, just about to start a new build for the next in my FPV series. I read quite a bit about them uh, online, seen a few videos about these things, and it seems to be a right reasonable uh, airframe. So we picked up a uh, Adam RC Swordfish. I bought the kid version, only the um, foam and uh, plastic pieces because I have my own electronics all going to here. So basically in the box you have a fuselage, some stickers down there, carbon spar, two canopies which is nice because you can decide what you want to do with the FPV equipment. Left and right wing and the two tail pieces in that bag right there so well, looking forward to getting the grips with this one it's um, not going to be a fantastically big build I don't think but uh, we've got quite a pile of <laughs> electronics to uh, install in here all this lot's going to go in we to use that speedy bay flight controller uh, there are four uh, Emacs uh, Metal Gear servos motors are these uh, which actually just arrived in today these Velox uh, motors and uh, yeah looking forward to getting cracking with it we'll just make a little bit of a build video as we progress along recommend the batteries for this uh, craft or um, for us lithium ions so I'm going to make up a couple of packs here these are uh, 21 700s Samsung I believe um, so we're going to make this couple of packs up we'll follow the uh, pack build through as well got them sorted in with shape and the insulating tape around them and things so we're going to start spot welding with those very shortly and uh, we'll see how that goes along well those two appear to have spot welded up very nicely uh, 4S1P got the um, spot welder set at 8 pulses and the current is set at around about 5.8 and uh, that's a result really nice spot welds nice and secure check both of these with the voltage with the voltmeter and they're both where they should be okay so the two battery backs are complete now 4S1P 4 amp batteries and uh, looking quite good both of them balance connectors on XT60s on this plane because we'll be using XT60s not XT90s it's uh, not as much current as the other stuff will fly so yeah making progress so I went ahead and started to do a little bit of work on the fuselage um, I decided to mount a VTX on the top of the fuselage there in that position um, it's an analog uh, 5.8 VTX at the moment and I brought the USB connector from the flight controller through onto here into this port as I'm not going to be using that for the GPS receiver so that's going to go out onto the opposite wing to the um, open LRS NG uh, UHF receiver so I installed the Speedy B F405 wing into the belly compartment there actually seems to fit in there very nicely and a couple of wires uh, I actually had to rewire the um, Speedy B F405 wing because prior to this it had been on a single engine uh, aircraft this is a 
twin motored thing so we I rewired that and then installed that in there. So I've got the motor wires sorted out to the left wing and to the right wing. Um, next I think I'll just go ahead and install the two servos for the tail. Let's go in there. And we'll just keep making a little bit of progress. Okay, so the servos are in. A little bit fiddly. Um, not much width <laughs> in there to mess about with those little screws and connectors, but uh, fit quite well. Quite pleased with that. And uh, push rods obviously go after the tail. Ready to put the tail feathers on. So I decided to um, build the wings for this thing. The fuselage just needs the tail feathers on, but I thought we'd go ahead as it's kind of a modular build to uh, build each wing. So here's the left wing. Got that thing completed now using uh, T motor uh, motors on there. I can't remember the number of the new Velux ones. Uh, 2000 kV, I buy 1950 kV is what they are. We've got the uh, the plate mounted on the end and also another mounting through into the fuselage because on here I mounted the GPS receiver in the wing, GPS receiver and um, compass. And yes, I do use compasses on my FPV planes. That's a walk snail um, M20 unit. Excellent GPS. We normally get around about 30 and 32 satellites at the field. So that's the wing. Um, the LEDs fitted in there. The underside um, servo is on, all connected up and centered. And um, the ESC is installed under the canopy in there. It's a 30 amp ESC, BL Heli, BL Heli S, I believe. ESC, so now we'll do the same job again on the right wing, but um, this time the UHF dipoles to go out on there for the uh, for the receiver. Okay, so we completed the right wing now, which is basically a carbon copy of the, the other wing. Apart from the off wave UHF dipole, we got out on the wing there. Coming along nicely, very nicely indeed. Motor's mounted, ESC's in there. Also went along and hooked up the tail feathers on the fuselage. They are uh, went in. Pretty easily. I glued them in as well a little bit because they're not going to come off the aircraft, so they're glued and screwed. And uh, that's another piece of the puzzle together. Making some decent progress here. Okay, so we've just about got a completed model here. Uh, everything seems to be working the way it should. Once we get the uh, camera on the canopy, up front there we've got a run cam split too, which uh, actually balances quite nicely in our position with the uh, battery underneath. That is the 4S21700 lithium ions. That worked out very nice. Everything fits on there just nice, as you can see. Goes in nicely. Props are on now, 7x4, which to me, wow, overkill. This thing is insane at uh, full power. Absolutely insane. It has so much power. Um, I've ordered some 6x4 props because. 7x4 on a 
1950 KV motor to me is just a little bit too much um, and it really isn't seen when you do a vertical hole test so wings completed, LEDs on the wings UHF dipole out that side for the receiver PTX up on the top as we showed before that's not the antenna that will be on there by the way it's just uh, for testing purposes and um, the programming module in there if we need to hook this thing up I know for whatever reason although we've got uh, Bluetooth on the flight controller this PDB F405 wing and uh, the tail all the surfaces have been lined up correctly all the servers have been uh, centered and uh, the throws made to be uh, where I want to have them actually so that's about it um, electronics are all in the bay under there just in the focus, you can't see I've got them all inside of there, they're speedy bay put the server covers on the wings not that I think they're going to do a great deal if I'm being honest so yeah there we go all I have to do is calibrate the uh, current and voltage and we're good to go hopefully next video will be a flight test for that we'll need the wind around here bugger off because uh, the wind's been a bit ridiculous for the last uh, few days so that disappears, maybe we'll get a flight test in and uh, see how that works. Hopefully that's the next video. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Look out for the next one, the test flight for the Atom RC Swordfish, which I'm really looking forward to, to uh, getting in here. Cheers now. Catch you later.